Finally able to make this for someone's request, Asian grilled chicken thighs. So yummy. This is Melanie and welcome. Let's go over the ingredients. I have a quarter teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of sugar, and a tablespoon of chicken powder, about half a teaspoon of black pepper, about a quarter teaspoon of five spice, and I'll use about a teaspoon of paprika. You can use uh, annatto. 4 tablespoons of lemongrass, if you have the powder kind, use it. This is my homegrown lemongrass, if you're interested, I have a video. 2 tablespoons of soy sauce and 2 tablespoons of fish sauce. Low sodium soy sauce. 1 or 2 tablespoons of canola oil and then also 1 to 2 tablespoons of sesame oil. I use about 2 to 3 tablespoons of maple syrup. You can use honey if you want. Two tablespoons of barbecue sauce. You can use hoisin if you have it. Stir it up. Give it a taste. I'm good with this. This is where you adjust. Add in a ton of chili powder if you want. My kids are not going to be able to handle that, so that will be a, a different meal. You can throw in some kids. And uh, I'm gonna add in about two shallots and a handful of garlic, turn out about six. I think it's about three to four tablespoons of chopped, trimmed, you know, that good stuff. You can use you know, powder if you want. Okay, I have about five pounds of chicken thighs, uh, bones and skin and everything. So I took the time to remove all the bones. I kept the skin though, because it's the skin is what gives you all that aromas and the, the, it, the, it drops into the grill and it smoke and it just, oh, it's, it makes your neighbor wants to come over. I'm seriously. So don't leave the bones in the trash. Uh, Leave them in the back and keep it in the freezer for soup stock for another day. That is all the ingredients in here. Uh, just mix them all up, you know, as always. Give it a good mix around. Uh, these chickens are still frozen, but it's okay. I usually put these in the freezer and then I would just uh, pop it out in the grill on one day if I decide, like, hey, I wanna do something tomorrow and then just defrost it real quick. But just put them in, I put them in these uh, quart size and put them in a quarter, I mean a, a gallon size if you have a bigger family. Today is the day. Here goes my marinated chicken thighs, ready to go. Hot grill, skin down. Pop them in there, don't forget the juice. Drizzle them around, looking good. Close the lid for about a couple of minutes, two, three minutes. It is smoking out here, I tell ya. Neighbors are stopping by and say hello. Neighbors you've never talked to and say hello. Seriously. <laughs> Just close the lid and uh, turn around, I mean, after you flip it and do it for another two minutes or so on the other side. Look at that. Two to three minutes, it's, it's good enough. Don't cook them too long. I like to just leave them up here uh, and close the lid and keep it warm for a little bit longer. If I'm outside, eating outside, I, I usually keep them up here, but today my mom likes to grill some, so I'll just kind of keep that and close the lid for like maybe another few minutes. And there we go, how juicy that is. All right, let's wrap these babies up and wait maybe maybe five minutes or so, 10 minutes. If you can't wait anymore, that's totally fine. You can dig in anytime. I usually eat it off the grill. <laughs> Some little small pieces. Look at that, juicy baby. You remove the bones, you don't have any problem with you know, the meat is not cooked in, in the middle and sometimes you cut through the bone, the bone it takes a little longer to cook. 
Here we go. Should be super super juicy. The the, the juice should be redistributed back into the chicken. If you wait it long enough, it should be juicy for you. That pea is a little bit too big for me. It was so good, I tell ya. Mm. I'm not lying. I gave some to my neighbors. The neighbors that I usually talk to. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this Asian grilled chicken thighs recipe. Share with someone, will ya? And then uh, come back here for a couple of more ways to enjoy these later. I'll stuff these in hoagies and I'll show you how to eat these over rice and sweet fish sauce. Click that thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and smash that red subscribe button if you haven't done so for weekly Vietnamese Asian home cooks, gardening and more. Have a great day. Bye bye.